happy Monday. I just got out of work and every part of my body is feeling it. I had such a decent weekend, guys. I really thought I was out of the woods with the pain, uh, but it started acting up um, somewhat. I'm not crying. Um, I can walk, I can function, I'm not stuck in friggin' bed, uh, my leg is working, so I'm, I'm good, I'm better, it's just, I was so excited that I had a good Saturday afternoon and most of Sunday where I could actually get around and, and, and feel happy, you know, feel not so aware of the owies in my body, like, I had a good weekend. But, uh, yeah, yesterday, and I ain't even gonna lie, it probably had to do with the fact that we were walking around the neighborhood to that yard sale, and, uh, my trying to get into that friggin' dinosaur costume was torture. It wasn't torture, it was just, like, really hard to get my legs in. Once I, my legs were in, I was fine, but I knew when I was fooling around with that dang costume, you probably shouldn't be doing this, because sure enough, after I got out of it and everything... My back felt a little, a little disturbed. Like, really? Did you, did you really just come out of two days worth of torture to stick your legs in a dinosaur costume? Really? Is that what you're doing to me? Like my body? I get it. I get it. I'm just hard headed. But I'm telling you guys, I get so caught up in the happy of it that, like, yes, I forget that you ain't 100 percent dummy. Um, so I overshot and overextended my good moment. But yeah. The fact that I sit all day didn't help either. I'm just tired. My body's tired, but I did stay on my heating pad all day long. But I plan on relaxing. I did learn how important relaxing is to the body, especially when you don't feel well. If y'all been with me a while, y'all know I'm hard-headed. Y'all know I'm stubborn. Y'all know I keep thinking I can keep going when I really shouldn't. Y'all know I don't know how to rest. Y'all know I don't know how to just sit down, shut up, and be quiet. Just be still. Y'all know this about me if y'all been with me a while. Uh, but yeah, this whole back situation took me out, so I had no choice. But I did learn that just sitting still and resting is amazing. So tonight, little dude has decided, and I don't know if I mentioned this in another video, little dude has decided that because this is the last week of school, we are going to binge watch the Halloween movies. The ones with Lori in them. If Lori Strode is not in them, I'm not interested. I don't like when, when uh, franchises veer off too much from like the main characters so we have all the ones that Lori is in and he decided that we're going to watch one every night for this week of the last school week um so I I'm going to go grab a pizza and we are going to settle down and watch Hollow My Weenie the first one uh today he's never watched it uh he's peeped parts here and there and here and there there is a booby couple of boobies like i said some of y'all might be like mel you're a trip you don't let them see a booby but you'll let them watch all the other gore but yeah um so and he gets awkward when there is like a booby or something on it and i hope i'm not damaging him i hope i'm not making him feel that bodies are something you should be ashamed of. I don't want him to be some kind of weirdo, you know, you know, you know, being scared of girls or anything or, or you know, but that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother, uh, uh, situation. I just don't want him to think that sexuality and the natural, you know, guy and girl thing is bad, uh, because I try and shield him from the booby of it all. Do y'all know what I'm saying? I don't want him to like be shamed into thinking that that kind of stuff is is bad when he gets old enough to, you don't know. But anyway, how did I veer off? I veered off. Um, yeah, I have to go by Dollar Tree because we are out of paper plates. I ain't washing no dishes, okay? I don't like washing dishes when I'm 100%. I sure as heck ain't trying to wash no dishes right now. And my kids will say they'll wash dishes later. And later becomes the next day. I cannot sleep if there are dirty dishes in my sink. I can't. So, um, I mean, a fork, a glass, don't get me wrong, it irks me. But I can go to sleep with a fork or a glass. But because we all kind of have strange um, 
schedules from one another. Sometimes I'll get ready for bed and there's dishes in my sink because my big dude is off that night and oh mom, don't worry about it. I'll get him I'll get him in the morning. Or I'll get them later and I wake up and they're still there. Yes, they do wash dishes. More my big dude than my little dude. Um but I veered off again guys. What the heck was I talking about? How did I start to Oh because I gotta go to Dollar Tree and get some paper plates because I don't wanna wash dishes. And I think I'm just gonna get some plastic cups too. Because I don't wanna wash glasses either. But you know what? I know me. And this is a Mexican in me. Maybe it's it's a mom thing, not so much a Mexican thing. My Latinos, anybody can confirm um, if this is a Mexican thing, a mom thing, or a lady thing, or just a frugal thing. Y'all chime in. If I buy cups, guys, I throw away paper plates. I throw away napkins. But if I buy cups, I wash them. Yes, I wash the solo cups. I wash the foam cups and then I drain them so it's like I'm washing dishes anyway do any of you guys do that with the cups do any of you guys wash the solo cups or the styrofoam cups um, I personally don't know anybody who reuses the plates uh, and I personally have never met anybody who will wash um, a paper towel or or you know wash it and then unfold it and let it dry I've seen that on YouTube I know it's a joke but I personally don't know anybody who reuses paper towels I will use a paper towel over and over and over again like around the sink around the sink water spilled water spilled I'll use a paper towel until it is a soapy soppy mess and I can't squeeze any more out of water out of it I've done that before but I'm not gonna wash it and dry it out on the counter or anything like that I'm just so full of the strangest conversation right now stupid bumps but anywho yeah um i wanted to go home and and um i don't want to say fix because he did so well i wanted to go home and finish is a better word some of the pots that little dude did for me on saturday <laughs> I, I love seeing him be so helpful and it's my job as a mom, especially a single mom who doesn't have a dude around, you know, to show him these things, I I have to show him how to be handy, you know. I have to show him how to cut the grass and, and stuff like that. And he he liked it. He enjoyed it. Uh, he was really tired towards the end. Uh, and because of the way I am, I can't stop. I keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I just assumed everybody's that way. I mean, he took his breaks. We took our breaks, and I made sure he wasn't too exhausted. But uh, I kept finding things to do, and he was just like, okay, I'll help, I'll help, I'll help. Because um, he knows I'm going to be inside just obsessing over the plant that needed to be repotted and blah, 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 blah. So, um, my big dude had to do the, um, he had to do the, uh, the aloe. He did the aloe for me the day I got it, actually. He repotted the aloe because he knows me, too. He's like, uh-uh. I already know you're going to be out here this weekend trying to put this freaking thing in a new pot because it was crooked. And he's like, and no, you're not going to do that. He goes, and he was mad at me that I even picked up the aloe at the Home Depot. It wasn't heavy, but he was upset that I even did that. He goes, you need to lay off and blah, blah, blah. So he knew I was going to be out there. They know me. He knew I was going to be out there trying to repoot my aloe. So he did the aloe, but then I had the coreopsis that needed um, redoing. And um, little dude did the coreopsis. And there's, um, the, the soil has settled um, from watering and then we had a little bit more rain. So the soil has settled and they're not as full as I want them to be. I don't want the roots to like be exposed and burn. So, uh, cause it's getting hot out here. So, um, that's what I had planned on doing today until I remembered that we have the whole Halloween situation to tend to. So, but there's only one little Coreopsis that needs, uh, touching up, but I'm going to do that before I walk in with the pizza and then we're just going to chill. But I wanted, oh my gosh, you guys, I trail off with the chit chat. That's not what I came on here for. De eso no estábamos hablando. I didn't even come on here to talk about the random things I've been talking about. No wonder my wheels were spinning. Like, as I'm talking, I'm like, why are you talking so much? And I continue to do it. What 
I came on to tell you guys, jeez, is I, um, I, um, updated my resume. I got online and was tinkering around with my resume. Boy, it needed some revision. I had done a revision, I thought, not too long ago, but apparently not. So I went in there and revised my resume, updated my resume, and uh, got to talking to my sister about the what, what's the title of the position in your department. And, and I got on the website for that hospital and looked around and I found it. And I went and applied and that's when I realized ew I don't like this resume so I fiddled around with my resume and I submitted my resume I submitted the application for that uh, position and there were a few more that I feel I qualified for but I was too nervous to apply for all of them so I just applied for the one in my sister's department and I sent it you guys I kid you not not even 10 minutes later I get a response from one of the recruiters from the hospital that says um, I noticed on your application you mentioned that you have a relative that works for the hospital system can you please tell me first and last name and what department they work in so um, I went ahead and sent that information I didn't hear anything back but it was like within 10 minutes she got my resume and the application and everything and looked and reminded me I'll remind you guys that my sister said they've had that position open forever forever and ever uh, they just can't find any qualified candidates and I ain't gonna lie you guys when I updated my resume I'm like dang I impressed myself like okay so um who knows what's gonna happen it wasn't until a few minutes ago that I thought about it I'm like I texted my sister I said hey will this hospital hire siblings in the same department she said well I haven't been given any indication that they wouldn't she goes all the time I've been talking to my manager about you um she hasn't said anything about you know uh the hospital or having a policy not to do that so who knows but worst case scenario they're like no we can't hire siblings but like I said there were a few other positions in that in the med in the medical records that requires no phone no patient it's all data entry uh, making sure that everything is uh, correct for doctors and whoever needs them so there's a few options out there. Um, I, I have not changed my mind. I know I do not want to put up with the nonsense that I'm putting up with at this hospital. People just ruined a good thing. Okay? People just ruined a good thing. But it's okay. At least I know now that I, I don't want to deal with that nonsense. I don't want to deal with the public. I absolutely know I don't. Now, when I started this job, I knew I was capable of handling the attitude and, and the drama that people create because I came from that uh, this was closer paid more money um, so I was willing to do it hey I, I can handle it you know I, I, I know my way around nasty people but now a year in I realize while I can handle it while I am familiar with it and experienced with it I don't want to do it anymore I absolutely do not want to do it just because I can doesn't mean I should and I don't want to do it anymore so from this point forward, okay, Charlie, I had to avoid a pothole. So from this point forward, if I end up having to stay where I am, I'll stay where I am. But from this point forward, looking for anything new, um, I know, I know I don't want to work with the public anymore at all. But that's what I was going to tell you guys. I was going to give you all the lowdown on what's going on on the job front it's a little scary thinking that I'm gonna be 50 in a few months and here I am starting over again um, but I need to find my niche I need to find my comfort spot I need to find where I'm gonna be from this point until retirement I guess because I don't like hopping around I've been working full-time since I was 15 years old 15 guys what? I'm in the lane, Charlie. What is the deal, yo? Why this car? But, um, yeah, I've been working since I was 15. Not full-time. I've been working since I was 15. I started working full-time at 17. Right after I graduated, I started working and have been working ever since. And I have long-term employment. Uh, for me to switch jobs now, when I only have a year and, like, a couple months under my belt, 
makes me feel some kind of way because I've, I've never done that. I've been somewhere almost 20. I've been somewhere 10. I've been, you know, I don't, I don't do that. But I just need to find where I belong. I need to find where I'm going to be sane and okay. But I'm going to get my hiney over to Dollar Tree. whether I hear back from the school they were supposed to call me back whether I hear back from the school or not in regards to the dress code my child is going to look sharp okay I'm going to have some, some dress slacks maybe not like you know suit slacks but I'm going to have them in some nice slacks and a, and a nice shirt and um, you know have them look ooh la la right but I'm thinking he's going to be tortured to get this kid to do this because he's so weird about his clothes it's a comfort thing it's a it's a sensory thing with him he doesn't like his arms exposed he doesn't it, it's a whole it's an autism thing if you know you know but he cracked me up because i was mentioning we're gonna we're gonna have to roll with it we're gonna do a little dress up and he's like can i wear a suit my hat i said no they're not gonna make you wear a suit for high school yeah but no you don't have to wear a suit I wish they'd let us wear a suit. I said, you want to wear a suit? And he's like, I think it'd be cool. I said, the whole suit. You understand the slacks, the jacket, the shirt, the tie. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. I'm like, you want to wear a suit? I, mean, I wouldn't mind. You guys. I was so upset because at this point, graduation is Thursday. Where am I going to find a suit that fits my little bean pole? Suits require fittings, at least nice ones. Where am I going to find a suit that's going to fit my little string bean? It ain't going to happen. But I told him we could do some dress likes a dress shirt and I could get him a tie. You know, we could wear a tie if he wanted to do that. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if he changes his mind or if he if he decides he wants to be ooh la la. But y'all want to go to Dollar Tree with me? I don't know how long I can hang in Dollar Tree. I'm only going for plates, but y'all know how that is. But it's just going to Dollar Tree for what they need. But I'll see you guys either there or home or whenever I put this together. These are so pretty. But I buy these a lot and then I never use them. Not anything this big, but I've bought stuff like that before. Oh, look. These are beautiful. Look at the plates. I'm really tempted to try these little bulbs. Have any of you guys ever planted? Oh, this is my birth flower. This is the August, the Leo birth flower, in case y'all didn't know. But anyway, have any of you planted Dollar Tree bulbs and were you successful? It's so pretty. For my Nomi garden. Look, how sweet. They even have veggies. I love radishes with a little lemon and salt, so good. 
I love greens on a sandwich. A hot mix. Ooh, spicy. Five days to harvest. Should we try them, guys? Y'all want to try these with me? I am just standing here sniffing away. I love the smell of soil. I love it. I knew I had seen this stuff at the Dollar Tree. And I bought that bigger one at Walmart, but it's okay. These are interesting. Have some dill. They have flowers. I have so much going on already that I need to keep track of. I better not start something and I end up letting it die. Expanding soil. Makes three quarts. Hmm. Ain't gonna lie, I may come back for some of those seeds. I'm feeling real funny right now. I just realized I didn't eat lunch because I wasn't feeling well and I wasn't hungry. I came in here for plates, guys. I'm getting, getting, I'm getting all kind of stuff besides that. I'll show y'all. I told y'all I couldn't just come in here for plates. But I better hurry because, yeah, I'm feeling a little funny. When I turn my head, everything doesn't come with Look guys, these are the sticky faux brick tiles that Dollar Tree sells and I think it's a dollar twenty-five a sheet and they're just flat. The ones I got from Temu came ten in a bag and they're like embossed. But I mean if you could afford to buy a whole bunch of these, it would be nice for whatever project you have. I like that. I like this effect. Okay, here are some embossed ones. But how many do you get? One. One for a dollar twenty-five. And how many would you need? But yeah, okay, I found some embossed ones. I'll take it back. Okay, y'all know I ain't about that makeup life. But when I see Revlon at the Dollar Tree, I'm tempted to get it. I really am. I mean, they're not that expensive anyway, but they're definitely not a dollar twenty-five. Isn't that sweet? They only have the salad plate. I don't see any other size or bowls, but that is really cute. And I usually don't get jazzed up by some of these, but that's 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 different. I haven't seen this one have spoke too soon look at the bee glasses <gasps> these are so stinking pretty oh my goodness okay guys got a bit of a situation here I'm gonna sit here for a little bit because I got really I can't even say woozy. It took me a little bit to connect to that. More than likely, it's vertigo, which I've been getting with this whole neck situation. And currently, it started about an hour ago. I'm having pains come down this arm, and usually it's this arm. But now I'm getting some stabby stabby in this arm so I'm thinking maybe it's all tied into the neck but it could also be the fact that I didn't have lunch so but this doesn't feel like lightheaded from not eating this feels like vertigo but it could be a combo so I just left Dollar Tree y'all hear all this rustling so y'all know I didn't just buy the paper plates but in case it is my sugar I'm gonna go ahead and drink some uh, OJ and I got one of these little lunchables just to put something in my belly so we're gonna sit here guys and nosh a little bit drink a little bit of OJ and y'all want to do a haul while we're here people are probably looking at me crazy but I don't care I don't care this is the 
social media age. People are always on their phone. But also, if I did get woozy, it's probably also played into by the fact that my doctor, my PCP, just called. I ain't even gonna make no excuses. I've slipped on my diet, even though I keep losing weight. I lost almost six pounds. But my cholesterol is high and remains high. Not bad, but for a diabetic, you don't need to be playing around with your cholesterol at all because your heart, your heart uh, health. Cholesterol for anybody is bad for their heart, but diabetics especially. Um, and even when I had initially lost the weight and had been eating right and cut out the red meat and everything, my cholesterol stayed up there. So she's let me try it on my own. Uh, and even when I try, it doesn't work. So when I'm not trying, of course it's not going to work. She had me on a Tora Lipitor. And um, it early on, last year, she had me on Lipitor. And I reacted to it. Um, my body felt like a giant bruise. I remember that. I felt listless, lethargic, and my body hurt. It hurt guys okay I'm already going through some things and when she suggested um, to be put on another statin I'm like but hello remember the allergy it's it's on my medical record that I'm allergic to statins I didn't say that she said it so she wants to prescribe a low-dose statin um, which I'm afraid of because I'm already in pain and if the statin is gonna do the same thing or exacerbate it exacerbate whatever make it worse Come on, man, give me a freaking break, right? But she's like, we've tried diet, uh, and even when you were doing well, it remained elevated. We need to control it. Uh, so I'm going to put you on a low doses of some other statin. And she says, and if it does cause you pain and whatever she goes, we'll revisit it and make some adjustments. She's like, but we got to do something because cholesterol is still being naughty. And I'm sorry guys, as much as I love to watch mukbangs on YouTube, I'm not a fan of exposing you all to eating, but I don't feel right. But after that call, I was a little upset because she basically called me out for being fat. <laughs> that might have played into my getting my feeling like this but I'm gonna sit here a little bit I don't feel right driving because when I move my head I know my head moves but everything my sight of vision goes like this it plays catch up and not the vertical and I'm not gonna be driving right now so we'll see what happens with the drink and the little snack But if I can stop between bites, we can do a haul. So I got this little yard flag, okay? Because I was missing a yard flag, guys. I didn't have one. I haven't had one. Um, they fade, you know, or blow away. Where is my cracker? Oh, there it is. Um. I found this one. Isn't that sweet? Little birdhouses, because y'all know I love me a birdhouse. I gotta feed birdies and house the birdies in my birdie B and B. Isn't that sweet? And it says blessed because I surely am. So I got that. I might put that out front by my little water feature. I'm not sure. Because I don't want the front yard to start looking as Sanford and Son as the back is. But I got that. I got Palms the movie. I love Diane Keaton. I just love her to pieces. And this looked really, really cute in the previews when it came out. And of course, nobody wanted to go to the movies to watch it with me. So I grabbed that. I've never done a car haul. I don't know where to put anything. 
these were so stinking cute guys these are definitely gonna go either in the little um in the little wagons with my with my nomies and my little teddy bears or they're gonna go in my homey nomie um house thing but look at these pretty little garden stones one says love garden the other says enjoy time and the other says sweet home who wrote this love garden enjoy time sweet home who knows but i thought they were cute and if you're gonna be that close reading the little rocks in my gnome home or in my little um wagons you deserve to get some funky uh worded rock hearts mm -hmm. tissues two boxes What a strange combo. I'm reminded of Everybody Loves Raymond when Robert moves out on his own and he's just gotten divorced and he's eating bologna and orange juice and Ray comes over to try and cheer him up and he's like, look at me, look what I'm reduced to, just look at me here and he's eating bologna and chasing it down with orange juice. I'm Robert. Um, I got this brow pencil with a little spoolie in um, medium brown. I always threaten that I'm going to do something with my brows. I did clean them up some, guys. I did, because I'll be watching back the videos when I'm editing. And I had the serious Winnie the Pooh booty happening over here. Just all the crazy little strays and the, the growing out and everything. I hadn't taken care of my face in a while. I need to be paying attention before I end up looking like Yosemite Sam. But I just like the idea. I like the concept of the spoolie and the pencil together. So... And I'm pretty sure I have something like this. But I grabbed it. And I did get two of the Revlon lippies. They're in red. I love a red lipstick even though I'm never bold enough really to wear them out. But I got, oh gosh, freaking glare. I got this color in 782. I can't show it. And this one in 225. They're looking way brighter on camera than I'm actually seeing them. So maybe if I remember, we can swatch you two later if y'all are interested. Okay, what else? What else? I'm making a mess, guys. Okay, I grabbed this. I got so happy. I wish they had great. You can't find grape anywhere unless you go into like really tiny South Texas towns and for some reason those little uh, gas stations and corner stores in South Texas have the knee-high grape. But I found the knee-high peach and it's delicious so I grabbed that. everything yeah I did get my plates at least sometimes I'll completely forget and I have to turn back around and go get more stuff but yeah that's it um I don't know if it's because I'm distracted talking to you all or if something is happening but I do feel not as weird as I move my head it's not as slow to connect so I'm gonna sit here and finish my little lunchable And go grab this pizza. And go relax with the kiddo. But thought I'd get this in since we're gonna be sitting here. Since I was gonna be sitting here for a while. But I'll see you guys at home. Well this space is where I was going to put my little blessed flag by my little water feature, which I still have yet to do up the way I wanted to. But I forgot I put my longhorn here. So, I'm going to have to find another spot for my flag. 
I'm thinking of staking it in this flower pot because I have a few more cuttings of Purple Heart that I actually wanted to fill this little uh, container with and I thought it'll give it a little bit of of uh, length. No guys, nobody is trying to break in. This is the what was left uh, when my roof was done. I had an old satellite dish and they asked if they could cut it and they did. So there's remnants of it. But anywho, this might be where my little flag goes. I'm not sure. Sorry, had to make a bunny. I had my longhorn here, but I thought that this would be prettier since it's white and the pole is white and it's all green and it's it has room here. But I'm gonna go fill in the flower pot and say hello to my babies. <gasps> hello all my babies. Hello all my babies. Oh my goodness. Oh, a butro fly. Hello all my little lovely babies. Hello everybody. Oh, let's see what this zucchini is doing. Oh, it's touching the ground. Is this supposed to touch the ground? I don't want it to get gross or not grow. There's my little zucchini. Hello, everybody. Look, guys. Y'all see that? So, y'all remember me making friends with my little dog neighbor, right? Well, apparently, the owner is not okay with it because he blocked. He blocked, um... The opening where I give the doggy pets. Isn't that sad? But let me show you a couple of other things out here. These are still doing well. The Temu um, lavenders are still doing well after a whole bunch of um, rainstorms. They still held their color. They're still nice and perky. And this is the final result of the extra flowers I got from Temu the last time I showed you guys a Temu haul. Uh, I got some extra red and pink and I went ahead and filled in these and you know what guys I'm really thinking of doing a border with a little curved bricks right here and then just graveling that in only because my little Osball is here and I want it to be nice and I like the flowers and I like my dragonfly but it's just dirt so I'm thinking I'm going to round off this area with some curved brick and fill it in and then leave it as is and y'all better not laugh at me but y'all remember the ones i just found at um black friday this is them and y'all remember i had put these little hanging baskets on this dead tree well this is what i ended up doing just to fake a front i put a little bit of soil in there but yeah that's what i've been up to out here but I get such joy coming back here and looking at my babies. I may have to deadhead some of these Coreopsis because some of the blooms have already fallen off and they say if you deadhead them then all the other little blooms uh, have a chance to grow and sprout and that is exactly what's happening. Look at all the green. Oh, I just love it. I just love it. But anywho, um, this is a little Coreopsis that needs some filler. Y'all see? So I'm going to do that real quick and then head on in so somebody can eat. I got corn heating. I got corn heating, guys, because I'm going to go old school, like middle school, and have some corn with pizza. This is the pepper plant that my friends bought me Saturday as like a little get well gift. And this is the little pepper that I bought. This is the gypsy pepper I bought. This is the gypsy pepper they bought. And I went ahead and planted them together in my little um, bins planter these still ain't doing much well no hold on these look a little bigger these are my bells these these actually look a little bigger some of these too okay okay my red chilies are not doing well but anywho i'm gonna go ahead and fill this in and go in myself <sighs> you guys i love the smell of soil 
I can't get too close or I'll end up with dirt in my brain. But let me fill in my little baby. Oh. I'm making a mess. There we go, little Cory. That should do it. That should do it. And anything for my babies. Speaking of babies, do you see Alejandro the Yellow? Alejandro. I've named him Alejandro. So beautiful. I think my big dude did a great job on it. I'm going to go in. Because although I feel better, I'm still hungry. So I'm going to go in here. Sit down with my munchkin. And get our dinner on. But thanks for hanging out, guys. As usual, I love y'all. Love y'all for keeping me company. <sighs> I know I keep turning y'all this way and that, but look. Look at the little cushions. These are the the ones that I kept my cuttings of my um, Purple Heart that I need to find uh, room for. I have a few spots I know I'm going to use some, but I wanted to show y'all the little cojines, the cushions. I ended up not putting the yellow flowers in there because y'all saw what I did with them. Oh, and I did this. I had these giant metal lanterns connected to these tiny little S-hooks, little weak S-hooks. And every time it would rain, they'd tip over because the ground would get wet. I forgot that I had these larger ones on the side of the house with fake flowers. So now... I got the look I was after. Now, if I were willing to pay for the super tall uh, hooks, uh, they'd probably be up to here. But I think that's cute. I think that's nice. It, it's high enough above the flowers that you can see them. I like it. But yeah, I totally forgot that I had these stronger, more sturdier, longer ones on the side of the friggin' house basically going to waste. I know, I keep saying I'm going to let y'all go, but I am going to let y'all go. <sighs> Let's head our booties in here. Look at this kitty cat. Eat and run. He is so rude. What happened? Did they tip over? Oh, you're you're clearing your spot. I was supposed to do laundry. Had a good day? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go stir my corn and then we can. I'll sit and eat with you. Oh. Show them what we're watching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go stir my corn. He is ready. He had to move the laundry baskets off of his couch, off of the live seat. Because, yeah, I couldn't. I didn't want to do laundry after, you know, I didn't want to risk it. But anyway, I hope you guys had a great Monday. Um, I hope you guys roll into a great Tuesday. And until my next go around, let me switch hands so I can wave. I love y'all. Bye, cheers. Bye. Hi. Hello, little one. I can't reach you up there. I can't reach. I can't stretch. I'm sorry. I can't stretch right now. I hurt myself. Hi, precious. Hi. Do you see the fireflies?